Acting as gate guard at Bergen-Hohner Garrison, this tank called El Alamein sums up what 7th Armoured Brigade has always been about up until now. But when the Desert Rats come to leave here in 2015, their future is going to be very different. Challenger tanks of the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards exercising on the Hona Ranges in 2012, a sight we're not likely to see again. Even before yesterday's rebasing announcement, tanks had been leaving this base in significant numbers. It had been in the pipeline for a lot of years. Since the return of 7th Armoured Brigade from Op Herrick 14, the use of Challenger tanks has been on the wane. As of today, very few remain here at Hona. The Desert Rats became famous for their victories against the Germans in the deserts of North Africa in the Second World War, including at El Alamein. As part of the Allied 8th Army, they were led by Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery, who's quoted as saying at the end of the war, Seventh Armoured, I owe you so much. Although the original 7th Armoured Division was withdrawn after the war, its name was brought back and the Desert Rats of more recent generations played a pivotal role in places like Bosnia in the 90s and Iraq in 2003. The MOD has said today in a statement that the Desert Rats insignia will remain in the Army's battle order and in the future there will be an infantry brigade equipped with a range of protected mobility vehicles. This all fits in with the stated aim of SDSR to reduce heavy armour in the Army by 40%. 7th Armoured Brigade will be based in Chilwell upon return to the UK, but some of the units which currently comprise the brigade will be based elsewhere. When this garrison closes, it will mark the end of an era for British forces Germany, but it also marked the start of a new era for 7th Armoured Brigade. One chapter closes, the next is yet to be written. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Bergen-Hohner Garrison.